You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. From Alma, she was wondering um, if, if she wanted to get around doing a tissue biopsy to confirm basal cell carcinoma. What other options are there? I would stick with the biopsy. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be the most accurate. Yeah, and it's accessible. It's skin. Cut it out. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Mm -hmm. It's not not a pleasant thought, I'm sure. No. And uh, because it's on the outside of your body, should be relatively accessible. But Alma needs to stay out of the sun. Stay out of the sun, Alma. Um, and then get your tissue tested yes. so that you have a be better sense of what what in fact is uh, making those cells grow. Yeah, well, with skin cancer, it's only going to metastasize to other areas of the skin. We've seen rare cases of basal cell carcinoma spread to internal organs, but they're incredibly rare. Okay. So we don't typically suggest uh, tumor DNA se sequencing for, for basal, cell. basal or yeah, skin cancers, unless they're melanomas. Really? Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, because surgery is the main treatment for them. Really? Mm -hmm. But would there not be some sort of molecular driver happening in those cases? Um, yeah, but it's very specific to the type of cell that's occurring. Oh, the really? upper layer, yeah. It's, oh. yeah. it's not something that's a big problem. Most people are going to get a basal or squamous cell carcinoma in their skin at some point in their life. Mm. So and you just cut it off and that's right. it. And then just keep an eye on any other moles or growths yeah. or yeah. things like that. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.